A consumer alert now about a crime that could leave unsuspecting car owners steamed and stranded. A Maryland woman contacted NBC for a response after authorities towed away the car that she had owned for 20 years. Consumer investigative reporter Susan Hogan reveals the scam and what you can do to prevent being taken for a ride. Come on now, let's go. Every day, thousands of vehicles are put up for auction and, sold, and then taken to used car lots all over the country and sold to people like Renette Dallas. She had always dreamed of owning a Range Rover, and 21 years ago, she bought one at a used car dealership in Fairfax. It was 2,900 miles, basically brand new, $85,000. Pricey, but Dallas says worth the investment. She owns a popcorn business and used the vehicle to drive her products up and down the East Coast. So single woman, single business owner on the road, you want a reliable car. It was so reliable, she kept updating her Maryland registration every couple of years, racking up more than 100,000 miles. In 2021, when it was time to renew her registration, her dream car was about to become her biggest nightmare. She says, you can't register this car because it's titled in Florida. And I was like, well, how is it titled in Florida? I have the title for it. The Maryland Department of Transportation opened an immediate investigation. And once they inspected Dallas's car, they found that the VIN had actually been tampered with and replaced with a fake one. And when they ran the real VIN, they found that Dallas's beloved Rover had been reported stolen 20 years ago in Florida. The news gets even worse for Dallas. She says Prince George's police told her the original owners filed a theft claim with their insurance company and were paid, which means she's legally never owned the car. The insurance company did. And within five minutes, the police officers took my vehicle from where I had it parked and left the tag. Dallas says police told her the dealership where she bought the car got it at auction. But they were unable to find out why it was sold to her with a stolen VIN because the dealership changed ownership twice over the years. And the dealership's new owners, according to Dallas, brushed her off when she first contacted them. No one cared and no one showed any remorse and no one seems to think that anyone requires any accountability for it. In the meantime, since the insurance company never came and took possession of the Range Rover after it was towed from her home, Dallas and police sent it to a scrapyard. So how did the stolen vehicle go undetected for so many years? According to the Maryland Department of Transportation, it wasn't until 2021 when Maryland's MVA updated its system, allowing the department to get real-time notifications on flagged vehicles, either damaged, unsafe, stolen, or titled in another state through the National Motor Vehicle Title Information System. So when Dallas tried renewing her registration that same year, the system did what it's designed to do. Many of these DMVs until recently have been operating on 40-year-old mainframe technology. Ian Grossman with the American Association of Motor Vehicle Administrators, which operates the database, says criminals use VIN cloning to mask stolen and damaged vehicles. It's when you're trying to hide one VIN of the vehicle, you go out and you find a good VIN, vehicle identification number, and clone it. Turns out it's not that difficult to get a replacement VIN sticker or tag plate made. We found numerous websites where we could purchase them, which means so can scammers. Stolen vehicle information is generally restricted to just law enforcement use only, which makes it hard for consumers to check before they buy a car. But there are ways you can protect yourself from VIN fraud if you are planning on buying a used car. First, make sure to inspect the vehicle's VIN stickers and plate to see if there are any marks or edges on it. This could indicate that the number has been overwritten or even tampered with. Look up the VIN on sites like Carfax that offer a report at a cost. Make sure the description matches the vehicle you plan to purchase. And the VIN should be the same everywhere it's identified, including paperwork and on the vehicle. You can also try to check a VIN for insurance theft claims at NICB.org slash VINCheck. All of this was completely new to me, mind-boggling to say the least, and definitely a learning experience. For sure. Now, a little bit of good news for Dallas. News 4 reached out to the dealership again, and although they did not respond to us, they did contact Dallas, who tells us the matter 
has been resolved. Does that mean she got a car? We're not, we, we don't know. But okay. all we know or is money? that she's happy. Yeah. Okay, good. She's happy. So if this type of information is not readily available or fully available to consumers, how can you yeah. prevent something like this from happening? Well, good question. And as we reiterated in the story as well, you've got to make sure that all of those VIN numbers that are in your car match mm -hmm. as well. You know, get a Carfax report. Look mm -hmm. at that VIN number. Make sure that the, the type of vehicle matches the VIN number. You could look on the door. You know, if you open up your door, there's stickers right there as well. So just you've got to do your due diligence. Right. And unless the police or other authorities don't report the car stolen to these particular agencies, right. you may never know. I'm always learning something that, right? Good. Leon and I watch your story like, what <laughs> is going on? How does this happen to people? Right. So thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, Susan. <laughs>